Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be a shop with me at TJ Maxx. So I'm actually already here parked at the store and we're going to go inside and see what they've got. I am looking for some philosophy shower gels for sure. Um, but besides that, I'm just like open to see whatever they have. Maybe some homeworks candles would be great. There's also a Marshall's home goods that we might hit up after. So we shall see, but I'm going to go in and check out what they've got. I'm open to some more skincare items too. Like I probably need some face masks and if they have a facial steamer, I might get it. If it's like under $30, I've been looking for a facial steamer. So we're just going to go in and shop till we drop and see what I can find. So let's go on inside. All right, so heading on inside, you guys, I was actually really excited because they had just restocked the purse section and they never have good purses here. So I was really excited to see they had some Dooney and Burke. I think this one was Carl, oh no, Ted Baker actually. It was really pretty and floral. I like this white one. They always have a ton of Michael Kors and they're clearancing off some of these black bags um, just to get ready for like all the spring colors. So that was pretty fun. I did find this one leftover from Christmas from Kate Spade. Oh my gosh, so cute. It's literally a present. That was adorable. Some more Michael Chorus. Um, some Long Champ here. Um, my store gets a lot of designer stuff, which is really great. And this gorgeous Michael Chorus bag. Oh my God, so pretty. If it wasn't coral, I probably would have gotten it if it was like white. Um, and they had some really fun little earrings. They had these little cherry pies from Betsy Johnson and some shamrock stuff for um, St. Patrick's Day coming up. So as you can see, there's a few right there. And then down at the bottom, there's a little thing of beer that was adorable. So those were really fun finds. And then I moved on to the um, fragrance section. They had a lot of perfumes, a lot of KKW stuff. So pretty interesting here. I guess she's discontinuing these two lines, but they had the opal line and the other line and they're all $30, which I think is a great price. You guys will have to let me know if you've ever tried them. And then Ariana Grande, sweet light candy for 25 and the thank you next perfume. So great finds there. Some philosophy. This is another KKW. This is the Kylie line. Um, yeah, Kylie Jenner. There you go. I don't know what that smells like, but some Kate Spade, Tommy Bahama, um, some more Kate Spade stuff. And I found this random Rue 21 one. I don't even think Rue 21 is open anymore. You guys will have to let me know, but that was like a blast from the past. And then like the fake Victoria's Secret scents are funny. Um, they had this little set from Juicy Couture and I did find a pink sugar hair perfume, which was pretty fun. And this Rose Riche perfume. I'm not a Rose fan, but I know that brand is really popular right now and some more rose perfumes i think great for valentine's day but just not my thing and then a ton of these little sprays they had some more ariana grande down here um, and some more pink sugar stuff and that was about it for the fragrance and then i did find this awesome section of body care items um like i guess accessories but the bath and shower gloves this awesome loofah that you can use as like a back scrubber that was pretty cool i almost considered getting it but i feel like I don't know, you don't really need it. I feel like it's just, just kind of extra, but they did have back scrubbers, so if that's something you struggle with. And they had the paddle wand brushes. They had these nice, simple brand um, body washes, and they had tons and tons of the Nivea washes. And I think those are great for sensitive skin. They had this orchid scent, um, which that one did smell pretty good, but I am not, like I said, a floral person. And then we're going down the body care aisle. This is my favorite aisle to go down. I just love to look for all the philosophy stuff. Vanilla birthday cake. So these are all $10.99, so $11 for those bigger sets. They did have this bath bomb set um, from Disney. They had an Onyx bathhouse body scrub. The Amazing Grace Ballet Rose shower gel from Philosophy. That's so pretty. And that one's $8.99, so it's a little smaller than the other ones. Um, I found a Beach Girl, which seems like it'd be really yummy. Great for summer. I found a passion fruit daiquiri and a strawberry guava coconut. So these are all $10.99. A hemp's pink pomelo and sea salt. Um, not a fan of their formula though, of their um, of their lotion formula, but. And some little peach booty polish. That was cute. Um, there's some green philosophy ones that I missed. I'm sorry about that. 
and some Fruit Loops whipped body butter. I bet you that smells good. Somebody already opened it to smell it, which sucks, but some more Onyx Bathhouse. I found Wild Mint, Mermaid Off Duty, and I think these are all supposed to be on clearance soon, so if you see them in your stores, they might actually be on clearance because they're repackaging the Onyx Bathhouse line, so just keep your eyes out for that, but some more philosophy. And then I found these ones. These are all raspberry and vanilla. And then a Unicorn Dreams body butter, which sounds really yummy. And Pacifica Lavender Moon body wash. So good finds here. Um, just a lot of floral stuff though. So not my forte, but still really good finds. Um, just scrolling down to the white and the cream section. And I did find an Argan Magic Argan Oil body wash. This Dionys uh, goat milk skincare hand lotion set. And a few little candles. These DW Home ones with like those little jar lids are so cute but i still can't get a good throw out of dw home so i'm not going to be buying them anytime soon but they are pretty to look at but i don't know and then some more bath accessories i really like these towel scrunchies i've heard great things about them so that is actually one thing i put in the cart um and then some microfiber hair towels if you guys are looking for them i would definitely recommend getting them from tj maxx they're going to be a lot cheaper than like ulta or sephora I did find a dry bar set that was cool and there's those towel scrunchies in white instead of just leopard and some little like face scrubbers and what is that a gua sha oh nice i don't know gua sha is too fancy for me i can't commit to it <laughs> but they did have some scalp scrubbers which is really great i love mine um some some more flamingo razors actually that's my favorite type of razor is that Flamingo brand? Oh, here's a scalp massager I was gonna show you guys. I love this thing, it's my favorite, and I leave it in my shower and I use it for my shampoo and it is so, so good. And they did actually have some like heating pads and things like that. These little mini makeup remover towels I think are great for traveling, that's pretty nice. They had tons more of the scalp scrubber brushes and um, I did find some cute little Valentine's Day clips and hair bows and things like that, so that was really cute. I do love to get little accessories like these from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. Like I just think they have the best little little items. They're so cute. And these headbands were adorable as well. And then moving into the makeup, I found a few um, Too Faced items, or Benefit, sorry, this is definitely from Benefit. Um, but I don't know, nothing really crazy today. Um, I did find some palettes that I'll show you guys later. Uh, but they did have good lashes, so at least that. Pacifica Brow Gel. Um, literally nothing that great, but I don't need to buy any more makeup, you guys. <laughs> so I just like to look to look, honestly. I did find a brown eyeliner, though. I did say that I needed that, so that one kind of went in the cart. I found these really awesome Pat McGrath and Bridgerton palettes for 25 and I looked them up, they're beautiful. So there was a purple one and then like a brown one, but I don't need any more eyeshadow palettes, but I just thought that was cool. And then I'm showing you guys some of the beautiful lashes. I think if you're gonna look for lashes, just buy them at TJ Maxx, honestly, they're so much cheaper. Um, and they did have a pair of Lily lashes, which is great for only $10. I think they're originally like 30, but they are too thick for me. And then of course some Ardell lashes. Can never get enough of those Ardell lashes. And then some big dramatic ones. There's the other Bridgerton palette. Um, it must have been an online return though because it had that like printed out label. And then some Velour lashes from Sephora. Those are, or those are Ulta lashes, sorry. Um, $13. Some Morphe lashes. Um, little Benefit Georgia blush for six bucks. They had a lot of those Benefit um, blushes and bronzers some Urban Decay. Honestly, I'm over Urban Decay. <laughs> and then a little Elf Cookies and Cream palette and some of these Too Faced lip injections. Let me know if you've tried them. I think I've tried one like a long time ago, but I don't remember if it was like way too, I don't know, spicy on the lips, but they also had a ton of the Beauty Blenders. So if you need a new sponge, they have them. And then some skincare items. I did find these um, Peace Out Skin Champ little acne pimple patches and stuff like that so nothing crazy in the skincare section today usually my store has a lot better stuff but i just found some like generic drugstore stuff so nothing crazy i did find this really cute pacifica set which i thought was cool um especially as like a gift set or something for somebody but nothing crazy saint tropez shower tanner 
that was cool. And then they did have this really cool elf brush set, which I thought that's really great. And it was only 25 for like, what, how many brushes is that? 20? I don't know. That's a really good deal. Um, and then I found this juicy track set. You guys, this is so cute. I cannot believe I found this. Um, I don't need a track suit set and I, I don't know. I feel like I don't have the balls to wear that out, but it's so cute. So if you have the balls to wear it out, definitely get it. And then they had some um, Valentine's Day PJs. I love these silk PJs from TJ Maxx Marshalls. They have this one in a long sleeve. They had this one in long sleeves and long pants. It's just in Texas, I can't be wearing that to sleep or else I'll be sweating. But they had some really gorgeous little PJ sets as well. And then of course I had to look in the mug section. So I looked at a few of these little XOXO mugs, some little cats. I thought these were adorable, but nothing was like calling my name and I don't need any more mugs. There was a Winnie the Pooh though, and a Mickey Mouse and a Spider-Man and the Cheshire cat. And I do always look at the water bottles because you never know what kind of cup or anything you can find. This one was like a Starbucks dupe. I thought this was really cool. So that was cool for like, I think it said $5.99 or $6.99. And then they had this blue mermaid one, which also was gorgeous. That one's really nice. I like that it has silicone straw. And then a few little Valentine's Day items, some gnomes and some picture frames and just cute stuff. But I, I don't know. I didn't decorate for Valentine's Day this year. You guys will have to let me know if you did or if you skipped it. I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know. And then a ton of signs on this side of the aisle, some mug sets and some plate sets. They had this little Mickey and Minnie mug set. I thought that was adorable some mixing bowls, some containers, and more mugs. And of course, they're getting ready for St. Patrick's Day and Easter. And then I did go ahead and try on a few clothes. So I tried on this little floral top, this purple jacket, and then this two-piece set, which I thought would be really adorable, but it didn't turn out that great. I love this purple jacket though. This one turned out really cute. This blue top, I don't, it wasn't the cutest thing, so I did not end up getting that one. And then this two-piece set did not look good on. Ugh. Hello guys, we are back in the car. I got some good stuff, so I'm gonna do a haul for you guys um, when I get home, but we found a ton of philosophy stuff, tons of skincare, makeup, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And let's go ahead and head on home and do the haul. Hello guys, so we are now back home. It's a little bit later because I ate my lunch slash early dinner um but i'm gonna go ahead and get into the haul of things that i got at tj maxx i found some really good stuff and like some random things um but i will start with the body care find and that is the philosophy strawberry guava coconut i only got one of these even though i really wanted to get like most of them especially the orange slush one i was pretty curious about that um but I did pick up the strawberry guava coconut and this was $10.99. They also had some big jumbo ones in the clearance section, but they all look like they've been tampered with and I just can't commit to a jumbo one yet. Um, but this one, you guys, it smells so good. It kind of smells like a strawberry gummy, but like also like an alcoholic drink, like a strawberry daiquiri. So I know they do actually have a strawberry daiquiri scent, which would be really nice, but this is gonna be so nice for going into summertime. I don't really get any coconut from it, but I still think like this beautiful, like fruity strawberry scent will be really nice. And I think I will actually use it for a um, Valentine's Day shower routine that I'm gonna be doing soon. So that one is the first thing that I got. And then also in the makeup section, I got this little Tony Moly eye makeup remover, and this was $4 on clearance. Um, this is like super small, <laughs> but actually a good travel size. So that's good because I will be doing some traveling next month, um, but I just ran out of my makeup remover. So I'm just picking this one up as a backup. I do have a cleansing balm, but I prefer those type of makeup removers um, or like a micellar water to those. And then the last like makeup item I got is this Glamnetic Hello Kitty um, eyeliner pen in the shade brown. I actually did not know this <laughs> until I got home, but it's a magnetic eyeliner pen for magnetic lashes, but I didn't read that, so that's my fault. But this is just a brown shade, and it's actually like more chocolate brown than any brown 
um, liquid liner I've ever had. So that'll be really nice to use like on a daily basis. I've been doing kind of like liquid liner with brown liner instead of black for just daily wear. Um, and I really love it. So this was $7.99, so we will see how that one goes. Um, I picked up one jewelry item from the brand Rachel Zoe, and it is this gorgeous little sterling silver heart with a little cubic zirconia um, bead in the middle, and it was $16.99. Look how beautiful this thing is. Oh, it's so cute. I cannot wait to wear it. I feel like it's gonna be really nice when I layer it with something too. And I just thought it was really pretty. I know it's probably for Valentine's Day, but I think that's a great year round piece that I will really enjoy. Another kind of um, self-care item is this Kitsch towel scrunchie that I bought. So it actually comes with two and there are these like um, cheetah print ones. This was $5.99, pull one out for you guys. So this is what it looks like, it's pretty big, but you're supposed to be able to put it on wet hair and it kind of dries your hair for you overnight. So I do usually sleep on my hair wet and it gets my pillow wet and it makes me like feel really weird at night and I can't sleep right. So this will be really helpful. I'll just put my hair up in a bun or something and go to sleep and I hope it works really well. So you guys will have to let me know if you've tried those before because I'm excited to try that. I did end up getting a skinny syrup in the flavor pistachio latte. So I love these things for my coffees in the morning. I have an espresso machine and ever since I've had that, I've been like addicted to using these as my flavorings. And I'm excited to try this as kind of um, inspired by the Starbucks pistachio cold brew which I just had for the first time like last week. It's brand new and I'm gonna try and use this as like a cold foam flavoring so I can do like iced coffee with pistachio cold foam. So I will let you guys know how that goes, but I do actually post my um, Nespresso recipes on TikTok. So you guys should go follow me. It is Vicky zero on TikTok. Um, but that was one little food item I got. And then I did get a random Ray Dunn item. I've, I haven't bought Ray Dunn for a few years. I used to be totally obsessed. Um, but this was $8 and it is a little tassel bead chain and there's Kai sniffing it on the side. <laughs> but it does say boo. So it is a Halloween item. Um, they actually had boo haunted in orange and mm, what was the other one? Wicked in purple. Um, but I like this one because I could just turn it around and use it every single day, just black and white beading. So I thought it would be really nice. I picked up a random pack of lint rollers just because we needed them with dogs. There's so much fur and this was $4.99. And the last and the best thing that I picked up today is this gorgeous wool purple coat. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's a little cropped. Um, I did get it in size medium. This is from the brand Seven for All Mankind. They have a lot of their stuff at um, TJ Maxx Marshalls. So this is so cute though. And I think it's gonna be adorable. I have a trip coming up that's a bachelorette trip and I'm hoping I can kind of wear this there when it's gonna be chilly and cold. And I'm just so excited to have something like with a big pop of color like this. It's so cute. So that is the last thing that I picked up at TJ Maxx. I hope you guys enjoyed coming shopping with me. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.